Hey guys, I'm Janet, on occasion, and so playing the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. I know, what a surprise. So, um, as you can see, I brought the Skaven, and I'm against the High Elves. So, um, the reason why I'm casting this one in particular is, um, uh, someone commented on yesterday's video. Um, because I, I sort of said a comment in jest of, um, you know, who brings Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers, right? And, uh, Davina Q pointed out there are uses for them, and, uh, it's actually things I have mentioned previously. Um, in previous videos, but um, I haven't mentioned it recently. So, uh, but yeah, they they definitely have their uses, and this helps to highlight um, why people don't tend to give them as much credit as they deserve. So um, basically, um, I've got the Skaven against the High Elves, so my point will become clear. So uh, as you can see, front line of um, Clan Rats of Shields. So it's good to have that, um, you know, the shields in the front line, and just having cheap front line, I think, is always great with Skaven. Um, I do have some Plague Monks in here as well, hoping that they don't get shot by archers too too much. Um, but, you know, they'll do good damage against sort of enemy spearmen and things, so they're pretty good, pretty good, uh, you know, anti-infantry. Um, also, I've got, there's the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower right there. Hmm. Um, I've also got a couple of Rat Ogres. So, uh, Rat Ogres, great for sort of penning in um, sort of big units and, you know, chariots and cavalry and stuff like that. And then you can back them up with, uh, you know, whatever you like. Uh, spearmen, usually. So, uh, my Warp Lightning Cannon, I'm protecting it with three you know, crazy cheap Skaven Slave Spears. And uh, these three, they're not expensive. They're only like 150 each. They cost almost nothing. Um, but this will put off most cavalry. And even if they have many, lots of cavalry or whatever, you know, coming in trying to shut down the Warp Lightning Cannon, um, I can screen them pretty well and then bring back up with like the Rat Ogres and, you know, or turn the Poison Wind Globideers around. Also, I have Poison Wing Globideers. Um, over on this side, just some Skaven Slaves, just for more screening, basically. So I put it on this side in case they wanted to flank around. I can just bog them down with more stuff. And um, I also have uh, Lord Skrulk, who's obviously, you know, everyone brings Skrulk. You know how good he is by now. You know, Liba Bubonicus, like, boom, and the hero's dead. Um, also, Warlock Engineer. Um, I love him in this matchup. I don't really bring any spells apart from Howling Warp Gale, which I think is essential in this matchup. Um, so you can just basically, it's just a net for a, you know, for a flying unit, which is huge. So usually you can net down a dragon and then kill it. So that's always good. Also got an assassin, um, so they got trophy heads, which is obviously fantastic. You know that's Queek's big draw, really. But you can just bring on assassin, and uh, also he's just he's just really good. Um, he does a good amount of damage. He's pretty cheap. He's got a really good debuff, like AOE debuff to uh, melee defense you can use on the enemy front line. It's just really good. So uh, love the assassin. And uh, over here you can see I've got um, gutter runners with poison, and I've got two units of night runners. These guys will clean up. As you can see, he's got a noble and an eagle, and uh, with only yes yeah, 60 armor, you can kill it pretty quickly. Um, with, you know, non-armor piercing units like this. But, um, gutter runs are poison, they tend to get spammed a lot. Um, but honestly, I think you only need the one unit for the nets and the poison attack to slow units down, and then you can just do, you know, almost as much damage just with the night runners. And these guys cost half the amount. Um, it's 950 to 500. So you can bring, you know, a good amount of, uh, you know, Clan Esh in here without spending too much, you know, without breaking the bank. So they're pretty great, and, you know, you can see how great they are. Um, so my opponent has Dragon Princes, as you can see here. So uh, he's coming in. I'm going to try and bog him down with the Rat Ogres and get more damage on with these guys. Um, unfortunately, I do actually run the Night Runners away a little bit too much, which is a shame. So uh, Dwellers Below comes down here. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage against these guys. I'm going to keep running through. It's fine. Um, but you can see he's got a load of Archers. Great pick against the Skaven. They will do a ton of damage if he can keep them safe. Because, uh, you know, they don't have to worry about a lot of armor. Um, he's also got a load of spearmen in the front line and saw masters of Hoeth. It's not a very big front line, though. Um, so, really, these uh, these Dragon Princes need to be screening out units. Um, a charge into these guys would wipe out that unit. And that would be one less thing that can get around into the archers. So, you know, you want to use your Dragon Princes sort of more aggressively on the front line, I think. So uh, over here you can see he's got a Mage of Life. That's going to be really useful for keeping them healed up. Um, all of his units healed up. Keeps Martial Prowess going for longer. And uh, also Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. As, you know, you probably expect, right? Because that's kind of why I'm doing this one. Anyway, so uh, over here you can see he's also got some Silver Helms. And he has a Star Dragon with a Prince on it. I know, weird way to say it, but yeah, that's what's happening. So let's speed things up. Um, so Frontline already happening. Uh, we got in really thick and fast here. So, um, as you can see, um, the Spearmen are not going to do great, to be honest. Um, the Plague Monks should do really well against them. But you can see they're not trading brilliantly, but then there's been some Archer Fire on the Plague Monks as well. Over here, the Rat Ogres um, shouldn't really be fighting the Dragon Princes like this. But, you know, I'm pinning them down, I'm doing some pretty good armor piercing, and the Rat Ogres barely cost anything compared to the uh, Dragon Princes. So, I'm pretty happy with this trade. It slows them down, and it means my front line can win before the Dragon Princes kill them all. So over on this side, you can see I've just thrown just Skaven Slaves and Skaven Slave Spears at the Silver Helms, and the Rat Ogres are getting all the kills. So 
not great. You know, just bogging down with cheap stuff, getting some armor piercing, done. Here you can see though the uh, Poisonman Globideers are taking a ton of damage, but there's still 25 models, they will come back, so that's still a lot of uh, a lot of hurt that I can bring in a minute. So uh, here I'm going to use uh, Howling Warp Gale on the Prince so he can't get in and start terror routing things. Because I've got into his back line now and I want to mop up all of these archers before I have to worry about my guys getting terror routed. So uh, that's pretty handy. Also, you know, Foe Seeker's running out, so that's fine. Um, you know, he's used Earth Blood on him, so he's got more health, and that uh, is healing up the Swordmaster as well. It's now 71 models. These guys are great. They've also got 66 kills at the moment. So uh, here, I'm trying to get to these archers as well. I've got the Warlock Engineer fighting the cheap archers, but when he's in combat, that Warp Stone armor is going to do damage, you know, to these Swordmasters that are nearby. So that's great. So here, um, Dragon Prince is still being a pain, but my gutter runners will be able to fight them pretty well. My Rat Ogres had fought off the other cavalry, they can come and do some damage, and now I can pull these guys out again now that they're pinned by the Rat Ogres. Because uh, I didn't want to give them maneuverability. So uh, over here you can see these guys are all going to tear her out, they're all going to have a terrible time. So, uh, oh they're actually broken, not, not terrified. Uh, Plague Monks, all but dead and terrified. So use another Howling Warp Gale on this guy just to stop him moving. Um, he is fighting the Warlock Engineer, I really should get him out of there, but um, I didn't. But at least stop the Prince moving a bit so I can finish off these guys. So you can see I'm doing a ton of damage to all these. Um, unfortunately, uh, my Assassin ran off chasing Spearman, which was very stupid. Um, that was very, very mismicroed by me. So uh, you can see Warp Lightning Cannon still going, so now it's firing at the Prince. It had killed a load of cavalry already, and uh, now it's just doing a lot of damage to the Prince, which is great. Uh, the Poison with Globideers are also helping. So here you can see I'm basically dealing with everything in here, but he does have the Swordmasters, and these guys are, yeah, 150 kills now. They're going to get a lot of kills. I'm basically ignoring them. I'm trying to focus on other stuff, knowing that they're just going to give up at the end, so don't worry about it. Also, um, I'm leaving these guys online um, for now, for examples. So uh, here you can see um, I'm taking out this Prince, uh, at least trying to. Um, the cannon's doing mad damage to him. He's pretty surrounded, but he's terrified everything away, and that's why I wanted to keep the Prince away from my front line. So uh, you can see Skrulk is still in here. He's so hard to take down, though. The Rat Ogres now have come in behind uh, the Prince. They'll do pretty well against the Swordmasters of Hoeth, which have just mad anti-infantry, which won't help. Um, I'm summoning in more rats to come in and here and help fight, because I might as well, right? You know, if I've got guys running away, I might as well make more. Um, so all these guys will come back eventually. Um, these Dragon Prince is still being an absolute pain. Um, I mean, they've got quite a few kills now. 87, not a huge amount, considering how cheap my guys are. But, um, you know, I've been pretty well to bog him down and stuff. So, um, here, um, yeah, yeah, he's running away. I used trophy heads on him, so it's got all the damage in. And because I've still got the warp lightning cannon online, there's no way he's ever going to come back. Um, he'd probably get killed before he rallies, so, you know, pretty great. Uh, obviously, the mage was stuck in here as well, so he wasn't going to give him any healing. It was just a bad situation, honestly. So, um, uh, but, you know, Equal Bolt Thrower was going for the entire match, so it probably did fantastically, right? Uh, no, 56 kills. Um, bit rubbish, right? Um, that's because it's used wrong. Um, this is why people don't tend to bring um, the Eucor Bolt Thrower, because it's got that, you know, anti-infantry scatter shot, and you'd think, especially against Skaven, that just have hordes of rats, you know, just having that scatter shot, you can just kill millions of them. Um, but it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't have the stopping power to do much. Um, that scatter shot is pretty awful. But that's kind of how it's advertised, right? It's that adaptable thing. You can either have it on big targets or, you know, a load of infantry, and it's great. It's, it's not. That's not what you want it for. Um, so what you actually want to use it for. Uh, Tavina Q mentioned this in the comment yesterday, and they're absolutely right. Um, it will just wreck other artillery so badly. And with the High Elves, when they've got such expensive elite units, they can just get focused down by artillery early. Um, having something to just wipe out Skaven artillery is so vital. It is so good. So having the Equal Bolt Thrower, if he just kept that on standard shot and was firing at the Warp Lightning Cannons, every single cannon would have been destroyed in the first 30 seconds. And then I, would have, I wouldn't have had that cannon firing at the Prince, I wouldn't have had that cannon firing at the Dragon Princes or the Silver Helms. Um, it wouldn't have done any damage, it just would have been out, like I wouldn't have got value out of it. And then he would have just, you know, had an absolute tear with his cavalry, just going from unit to unit, you know, he could have just charged into the rear of all my guys and just wiped out my front line. And then, you know, it would have spared all of his archers. It just has a knock-on effect. You know, you just got to wipe out that artillery. So, um, it's absolutely crazy. Because, as you can see, 218 kills with the Swordmasters. Because I wasn't focusing them down with artillery. So, that's huge. But, you know, I also completely ignored the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. And that is not enough kills to pay for itself. Even if those were all Plague Monks, that did not pay for itself. These cost 700. And that is not enough kills for a 700 quid unit, you know. Um against fodder like that's just not enough 
Um, and that's not what you want it for. You basically just want that to destroy the things that are going to kill your better stuff. Right, go for the artillery that's going to, you know, wreck your really expensive units. That's what you want it for. And it is great at that. So um, I did actually have a replay I put up uh, probably like a month ago now um, that I'm going to put in the comments. Uh, I'm going to put in the uh, description, rather. I'll put a link to it uh, because it shows um, it's me playing high elves against Skaven. And I use an eagle called Bolt Thrower just to decimate their artillery. And at that point, he lost, you know, his answers to most of my... Uh, most of my stuff. So um, it definitely has a use and it's definitely great against Skaven, but not for this. And this is why I say, you know, oh, who brings the Eagle Ball Thrower? Because everyone thinks it's terrible because they use it like this and it just doesn't pay for itself. It's just not worth the money. So um, it tends to get ignored. But no, it is great. It is really good unit. So you got to use it. So um, hopefully uh, Captain Red Rogue uh, might stumble across this video and, you know, realize that this is actually a great unit and, you know, Hopefully won't be put off using it again, because it is fantastic. And also, um, yeah, the Dragon Princes and the Silver Helms, um, you can just kill Skaven Infantry so easily with them. So um, I use them defensively. So, um, yeah. So anyway, great battle, though. Um, it's good fun, but, like, Skaven can be so overwhelming. Um, they can they can often just, you know, just clean up um, if you get a few, like, early wins, um, especially against the High Elves. Like, the unit's so expensive. The fact that I was able to take out the Cavalry... Um, early on, at that point, that is just so much money you've lost. Um, so it's it's a tough. It can be a really tough matchup, I find. So, um, but yeah, you got to use that eco bolt thrower for artillery. So, guys, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, bring an eco bolt thrower. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.